let's take a quick trip back to 1945. American soldiers returned from World War II in high spirits, ready to start their lives back on American soil. Just two years later, Peninsula High School was built, 1947. 1952, up popped Artendale Elementary. Evergreen Elementary was added to the district in 1955. Over a decade later, American Neil Armstrong was walking on the moon. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. 1971, Purdy Elementary was built. Around this same time in 1973, Motorola released the first ever handheld mobile phone. Massive population growth led to the construction of Geek Harbor High School in 1979 and multiple projects the next year. Discovery Elementary, Key Peninsula Middle School, and Kopachuk Middle School, all built in 1980. Minter Elementary was added shortly after in 1981, just a few years before Apple introduced the Macintosh in 1984. 1988, Peninsula School District opened Voyager Elementary. A year later, British scientist Sir Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web. The creation and subsequent publication of the internet forced the world to completely rethink how we as a species share, market, and protect services and information. A rapid process of change began, with big-name corporations and small family businesses alike all trying to get a foot in the door of this incredible new interface for communication. Now, almost every company has its own website and leans on the internet for its day-to-day -day functioning. Likewise, education is shifting faster and faster towards adopting tools and strategies that integrate and take advantage of the internet to make sure that future generations are prepared for success in a 21st century learning environment. If so many of our schools were built before the breakthrough innovations of the 21st century came to pass, then it can be concluded that the facilities can't adequately support educating and preparing students with the skills and knowledge required in the new digital age that we live in. How can we update our buildings to provide an optimal 21st century learning environment that will more efficiently prepare students for their future?